What's up YouTube Zero here and welcome to the place where gamers, witches, wizards, and superheroes unite. Today we're going to be taking on Gauze as the Technomancer in Outriders. Now if you saw my most recent Outriders video, you would have seen me take on Gauze as the Trickster. Each of the boss battles in this game, I'm going to show you each of the different classes against that boss because each of these classes have a different play style and I want to show you, give you tips and tricks as to how each particular class can be played in order to defeat each boss. This is the first boss battle in Outriders. It is a boss battle in the demo if you do get the demo. So before I get into it, I do want to say that if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Outriders content. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about the Technomancer's abilities because this is early on in the game, kind of giving you an idea as to if you may want to use the Technomancer as your main class in Outriders. So the healing mechanic is extremely important as the Technomancer, you will recover a portion of the damage you deal as health. So that's always nice. This is a longer range class, so as you're dealing damage, you can gain back that health. But since this is a longer range class, hopefully you're not taking too much damage. But of course, against Gauze, I am kind of in that medium range because I have this assault rifle and I'm trying to make sure all of my bullets are hitting. Then the three abilities I get, these are the first three class abilities that you get as the Technomancer. One is Scrapnel, which you throw a proximity device and the explosion deals damage. It also interrupts the skills of enemies that are within the blast radius. Then we have a Cryo Turret, which is an automated turret, of course, and it's going to inflict and damage enemies with freeze damage. Depending on the enemy, it will vastly slow them it could kill them obviously i'm a boss so it's not going to kill the boss and the turret's health depletes slowly over time and when it takes damage and the third one pain launcher this you place a missile launcher and bombs in the area in front of you and each missile deals damage per hit and interrupts enemy skills so those are the three skills that you're seeing me use i am also using an assault rifle in this gameplay, you can see I get pretty low on health. Thank God every bit of damage I am dealing heals me up because I got down to four. I was on a sliver of health, but I was able to bring it back and eventually start healing my life up. So this is a little bit of a longer range class. I don't want to get up too close and personal to Gauze. If you saw my Trickster video, you saw that I was getting real personal with Gauze. I would jump behind him and pull off all of my moves. That's not how you want to play as the Technomancer. The Technomancer, you want to kind of stay a little bit more at range, kind of wait for your abilities to come back and utilize those and deal some damage with him as this battle does go on. So we are getting down to the end of this battle. It took me about the same amount of time for both of these classes, both the Technomancer and Trickster to defeat Gauze. I am about to defeat Gauze as a pyromancer and devastator so be on the lookout for those videos as well and down goes guys i hope this gave you a little bit of insight into the technomancer inside of outriders it was just a brief video giving you more of an idea of the technomancer to start the game and against gauze in general so thank you for tuning in and again make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more outriders content well until next time, peace.